Hey guys, Rav here and once again I'm testing more of your Daisy Myths in the third episode of my Myth Busting series. Remember, if you like and are interested in all things Daisy, be sure to subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into our first myth. Will a bear trap actually kill a bear? Obviously this myth is busted, which is a shame to see as you'd expect a bear trap to be pretty efficient at trapping bears. This is something that may be added back in the future, as we used to have all sorts of different trapping methods in the alpha version. In our next myth, we are V-Visiting Grenades. Will grenades explode when shot? We've already tested shooting grenades on vests and that came back busted, but what about in different scenarios? Yeah, yeah. don't. Fuck, this is gonna be... Did it damage the grenade? Have a look. Nope, still pristine. Still damage pristine. Again. Still pristine, yeah? Yep. Yep. Again, that came back busted. You can't shoot a grenade in someone's hand to make it explode. But what happened if it was on the floor or flying through the air? So here I'm testing if a grenade will explode when shot and I was very surprised to find out it will. I then set up the grenades in a line to see if you could start a chain reaction. That's so cool. So this actually works, it can be a little unreliable as the grenade can sometimes become badly damaged instead of ruin, but I'd love to see someone pull off a kill with this. I then decided to test if a container could explode when shot if it was filled with grenades. So that myth has been busted, you can't actually damage grenades inside of containers so therefore they won't explode. I'm becoming a bit of an expert on grenades now so I could do a video just dedicated to that, but did I forget something? Is that the grenade? Alright, oh, unpin the grenade, yeah, is it unpinned? It's unpinned, yep. Yep. I wonder if it's going to blow up instantly. If so, it's going to scare the shit out of me. Alright, let's just give it... Okay. Oh! So oh. Me! That's, uh, you could actually fucking pe people up with that. Holy shit! Yeah, but what are the chances people cut people up? So, that, so everyone was right about that one. You guys were right with this one, the myth is true, a grenade will explode if a player unpins it and then is killed. Currently, they need to be cut up as there is a handbook, but I imagine when this is fixed it will explode almost immediately. A lot of people also suggested that I retest shooting the gun, but this time not during the throwing animation. Nothing. I'm gonna try and shoot where your hands are. You're probably going to want a bandage, but did that damage the gun in any shape or form? Nope. Okay. Gloves are... Nope. Try unlowering it, try just lowering it. No, like, 
not aiming him. That's what I mean. That, like that. Yeah, like that. No. This is gonna kill you, probably. I don't know. So, I'm still confused why guns are getting ruined while shot, as all my tests show the opposite. But whatever, let's move on to our next myth. Our next myth is that a VSS, when using armor piercing rounds, penetrates better through every surface, not just a protective vest. How much health did that do? Only fucking 18. The ones if I should. I, I don't need to respawn you for this. 18. And then this would. This took you down to 57. That's definitely more than 18. Uh, let me just see that a normal round's gonna do 18 damage again. So it should be 57. It should be 40. And 39. To quickly conclude, a normal VSS bullet did 18 damage when shooting through this metal wall, whereas a armor piercing round did 25 damage. These exact values are most likely dependent on the material you shoot through, but the percentage difference will remain the same. You can expect a 40% increase in damage when shooting through walls with armor piercing rounds. So to answer the myth, yes, the armor piercing rounds do more damage through surfaces. Our next myth is that a pistol within a chest holster will break when shot. This is going to kill you by the way. Uh, no, you're FNX is pristine. What was it for? Just tell me when you've respawned. Okay, I can damage it. Let's try that again because I can actually damage it by shooting it when it's on the on the floor, but not your body. No, it's fine. So it's literally only once. You're on the ground. I'm on the ground. Yeah, it's only once you're on the ground. Okay, so if you do happen to ruin someone, you probably do it like while they're falling, you know. So again, this myth is kind of true. Your gun won't be damaged if it's shot while you're wearing it, but it will be damaged if it's shot when on the ground or on a dead body. The next myth is more of a question. Is there a difference when filling a mesh barricade in terms of protection? See if we can shoot this guy with ACP. We can. I mean, there is no dirt in it, so I don't know why I'm surprised. Through here, I highly doubt. Yeah. What about with a higher caliber round? Pretty much the best sort of round if we're going to, you know, have a chance of penetrating anything. Armor piercing. Nothing. Yeah, that's fine. So, yeah, th these barricades are only useful with dirt in, pretty much, as expected. So our next and final myth for today is testing if trees are really bulletproof. Let's just do a simple, I mean this tree is fairly thin. It's sort of a standard tree. Not really that thin, but uh, try with ACP. Nothing. Uh, get those armor piercing rounds. I don't know what puff of smoke without a side then. But no, we're not having any luck. Let's try a smaller tree.
bulletproof until so yeah that myth kind of speaks for itself depending on the size of the tree depends if you can shoot through it or not just don't go trying to take cover behind twigs sadly that's all we have time for today comment your myths down below i do read all of them and i'll test the ones that interest me in the next episode so consider subscribing so you don't miss that this has been rav stay safe out there catch you in the next one